Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we're going to continue on our little theme here of hover effects and today we're going to do to a, an icon to a horizontal text pop-out like we've got here. If I hover over one of these you can see it pops out with a nice little text horizontal pop-out. And when you let go, it just returns to the state. Nice little feature, nice little sort of tooltip type thing to have on your site. Really easy to do with the Divi theme. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable our visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once the builder is loaded, let's go down to where we want to work and I'll get rid of all these. We'll start from scratch. Now the DB theme just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and it's so easy to use. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link which is below this video here. Okay, first thing I need to do is add a module. I'm going to use the blurb module because it comes with those great icons included there. There it is right there, blurb module. Let's move this over to this side so we can see what's going on. And by default, it puts in an image, a title, and a, a bit of text there. I've really got no text. Now I don't need a title on mine. Let me get rid of that. And probably don't need that much text either. So let's get rid of some of this text. Now I don't want an image. I want to use an icon on mine. So if we roll down a little further, we've got image and icon right here. I'm going to flip the little use icon switch to on. And as you can see, it'll give you all these elegant themes icons that come bundled with Divi. I guess I'll use the same one as I did last time. As you can see, it's popped it in there. Now I'm going to want mine on the left hand side. So let's fix that. Let's go over to our design tab, image and icon. And if we go down a little bit, image icon placement, we can flip that to left. There we go, it's on the left hand side. Now I'd like mine to be a little bit bigger than that. So if we flip the little switch that says use icon font size to on. And I'll give mine say 50 pixels. Just have to put in 50, it'll put in the pixel for you. Okay, that's going to work fine. Great. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a background color in there, but I only want to see it when I hover over it. So let's go back to our content tab one more time, down to background. Where it says background in the white writing there, hover over it and click on the little arrow. That's going to give us two states, a desktop or non-hover state and a hover state, which is the one I want to have the color on at the moment. Obviously hover states when your mouse is on top of it. So I'll put in a color for the hover state. That's a little loud for me, so I'm going to pull the opacity down some. Something like that, so it's still visible. Great. Now I only want that on the hover, on the desktop state, I don't want any backgrounds. So that's fine just like that. Now when it's on hover, let's give it a few little rounded corners there. So we'll go back to our design, we'll go to spacing. First I'm going to give it a bit of space all around. I'll give it five pixels all around. Just put in the five. Again, it'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite side. Great. Now the border, we want to make that rounded. So I'm going to give mine 50 pixels. And again, you don't have to do them singularly. You can do if you want to. You get some great effects that way. As long as that chain's linked in the middle, it'll do all four at once for you. So that's great. That's looking how I want it. But when we're not hovering over it, all I want to see is our little icon there. And when we are hovering on it, I want the, the text to sort of reveal itself horizontally. So let's sort that out. So let's go down to sizing. It's actually above spacing just there, sizing. And we're going to hover over width little arrow again so we've got our desktop and hover options and on the non hover or desktop state let's set the width so that we can just see the icon itself not the writing there we go that's fantastic but also 
uh, you saw the writing spill down there. I'm going to give it a fixed height. Let's see, we gave our icon 50 picks and we had five picks padding each side or all round. So that'd be 60 picks. So let's, let's set the height to 60 pixels. That should do it. Now then, the height there we set in both states. We didn't do a hover. We want it 60 pixels all, all the time. So if we go back up to our width now and go to hover, let's change the hover, the width on hover to 100%. I'll just put 100, I'll type 100% in there. There we go. That's exactly what we want. So that's fine. So when we're hovering, it's going to be like that. When we're not, it's going to be like that, which is exactly what I want. Now, I think the default transition time is something like 300 milliseconds, which for me is far too quick. Um, let's change that. Let's go to our advanced. Let's go down to transition. Yeah, 300 milliseconds. I'm going to bring mine up to around a second, maybe even a little bit longer, something like that. So it's not too long but it, it's fairly gradual and I'm actually going to change the transition speed curve to ease in out so that when you let go of it it'll ease back in again so let's save our changes and see what we've actually got there save the page changes and exit the visual builder and let's hover over it and see what we've got there we go fantastic that's going to work fine and of course, we just rinse and repeat for the other ones. Let's do that quickly. Enable the Visual Builder. Go back down to where we wanted to work. Just going to clone this module. I'm going to hit the little clone two squares there. Now, that has gone, for me, too far down. There's too much space between those two icons. So if we get rid of that one we just cloned, let's go back into our original and make sure there's no margin, top and bottom. So we'll hit the little cog to go back in there. Design, spacing. Just to make sure there's no margin, let's put a zero in top and bottom. Don't care about left and right too much for this. Save that. Now let's try cloning it. It should be closer together. Let's have a look. That's better. Three, four and five. Of course you just go into the one that you want to edit, change the text, change the icon, do whatever you want. I'll just change the icon colors. Very quickly. And last but not least, of course you'd want to go in and change the text that are in those. Now let's save it, go back, make sure our list is going to work. Once the page changes is saved, let's exit our visual builder. Let's go back down. There we go. And it, that's that sort of ease in out I was talking about. When you let go of it, it'll ease back in again. And of course, you can change the icon color on hover or anything you want, really. It's entirely up to you. Make it your own. But that's a nice little handy little feature to have on your site. It'll draw people's eyes to it when they hover over it. So there you have it. There's an icon to horizontal text reveal on hover. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.